Hi, so today's video is a very short video and today is, we are going to cover Mahesh Thakur, famous TV actor and also in Bollywood. The three questions that he asked before his hair transplant. He's already well past his hair transplant now. But these are the three questions he put forth on a video call before his hair transplant. So these, these three questions have added to our question bank in our series of videos on frequent questions asked by patients. If you're interested, please stay on for the question and answer session. Cost. Uh, what would something like this cost? Uh, is it dependent on uh, the amount of uh, transplant uh, per per hairs, or do you have like uh, a system? I mean, just some throw some light on that, so it becomes easier for us to understand how the costing works on this. So the first one is, what is the cost of hair transplant? See, the cost of hair transplant is determined by the amount of area that is going to be covered in the hair transplant procedure. And this depends upon the number of grafts available and also whether body hair is going to be used or not. So this procedure can be done in one stage. It can be done in two stages. It can be done over one day. It can be done over two days. So it basically depends upon the area and graft availability and how much area the patient wants to cover in one go. So the cost depends upon the number of grafts we charge per graft. The cost of darling buds is mentioned in the link above. You can go through all the videos. The cost varies from season to season. During the summertime, the cost is low because the demand is low for a hair transplant. So we give discounts, which may be up to 40% even. And also we have a scheme whereby if you put yourself in the waiting list, we will give you a discount. Whenever there is a cancellation, sudden cancellation two to three days before the procedure, since we have a slot vacant, we'll give that to you at a considerable discount. So this is how cost varies. So there's no fixed cost. The fixed cost is only for the period when we are very busy. That is between August and February every year. So the summer discount applies from March end to June end. The waiting list applies throughout the year. The only thing is in waiting list, you might have to wait for one or two months before your turn comes. Another thing to note is that our clinic is one patient, one doctor, one center clinic. So we are only able to do one case in a day. Therefore, since we spend much more time on one case than we would if we were also doing five to 10 cases in a day. Therefore, the charges will be a little higher than other clinics because we do not in Darling Buds follow the Turkish model of hair transplant surgery. The Turkish model is taking more cases, reducing the price, but the technicians do the entire case and the doctor only supervises the procedure. He is not actively involved in the, which is not so in Darling Buds and hence it is an impression that we are costing. That obviously, you know, after the procedure is done and, you know, your hair is all back and, you know, you feel good about yourself. Uh, is there a possibility of, uh, you know, the hair follicles coming out and you need to redo this procedure, maybe just for about, uh, you know, maybe a little bit more, you know, what, is, what are the chances of me coming back to you? after the procedure is done it would it be five years ten years you know or maybe never the second question is whether the planted hair are permanent whether after the procedure the patient will again have to get another procedure done well these planted hair are permanent provided they are taken from the permanent zone only you do not transgress the permanent zone because if we transgress the permanent zone in hair which are not permanent in nature they are temporary they are in the balding zone so with time, as balding advances, these hair will fall off or to sustain these hair, you will have to take lifelong finasteride or other DHT blockers. So the transplanted hair is permanent provided the grafts have been taken from the permanent zone or the so-called safe zone. People who have extensive baldness, only one procedure in these cases does not suffice because baldness is ever evolving. It is dynamic and it is dictated by the encryption of the gene of baldness in your body. So baldness is ever evolving as new areas of baldness appear, several more procedures need to be done depending upon how much is the graft availability. So usually a person with extensive baldness, by the time his baldness stabilizes, he has received two to three procedures in a lifetime. Thank you so much for a valuable time, doctor. Uh, one last uh, question before I bid uh, goodbye to you regarding the same. Uh, well, uh, after many people got their hair transplants done, uh, there were questions arising that can women also opt for something like this? I mean, could, uh, could this surgery be performed on women too? Do they also have the same uh, donor hair and you know, the same procedure can apply to them? The third and final question asked by Mahesh Thakur because, because his relative was also coming along with him and he wanted to know whether hair transplant is also done for women. Yes, hair transplant is done for women, but very few women opt for hair transplant. Why? Because they are not eligible in most of the cases. 
In most of the cases, the hair loss in women is hormonal. Whenever baldness happens in women, it is usually diffuse. It means that unlike in males who have a pattern loss, that is the safe area is spared, in women the entire head is diffusely thinning. So therefore, because crafts are in short supply, and also in women we do not have the luxury of body hair, in many cases hair transplant cannot be done to cover such large areas. However, in those ladies who have either only just a mere high forehead or just a hairline problem and some have only traction alopecia, they are ideal candidates for a hair transplant and get very good results. And there is an intermediate class of women in whom there is baldness but it's not so much and the safe zone is relatively preserved. In these cases, we can plant the hair in a strategic manner so as to camouflage the bald area. The only thing to note here is that the hairstyle restrictions will be important. The lady will not be able to do several hairstyles. They'll only be restricted to one or two hairstyles. So this is about female pattern baldness, hair transplant in women for hair loss in women. If you like this video, please subscribe so that you can get regular updates, evidence-based updates on hair loss and hair transplants, updates you can rely upon.